Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Parker Group Live. Um, today, now that we are definitely starting to feel that winter weather out there, it's getting chilly, um, we thought it might be a good time to talk about home winterization. If you are out there in the market for a home and you're shopping around, you might start to see that vacant homes are going to have signs around the house saying that they've been winterized. We thought it might be helpful to kind of talk about what that means, why they do it, um, and then also what that means to you as a buyer and some things to be aware of. So as Rachel said, when you're looking at houses, you will see this come up pretty frequently, especially if you're looking at houses that may be foreclosures or mm -hmm. estates, um, houses that people aren't in frequently to check on them. And obviously the reason for winterization is to protect the house um, so that mm -hmm. there's no burst pipes and things, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but some of the things that you'll find as you're looking at these homes are um, the water will be drained from all of the pipes and the hot water heater. Um, obviously to prevent um, exploded pipes uh, from uh, from cold weather. Um, and then you'll see a lot of do not use signs on sinks, um, toilets, um, in the bathrooms, um, because obviously without water, you're not going to want to use those things. And so um, be cautious of that. Um, so make sure you use the restroom before you go shopping yeah, yeah, for it's not foreclosures a, or okay estates. thing to take a potty break in those houses. Yeah. <laughs> Um, one other thing that they will do when they winterize the home, besides actually draining all the water out of all the plumbing systems, is they will actually add antifreeze to the drains. Again, just really trying to make sure that nothing freezes and bursts and they don't have a big issue when you turn the water back on. Um, but something that's really important for you as a buyer to know if you are looking at homes that are winterized is if you go under contract on one of those, those homes and you're at the home inspection time, while a home is winterized, you cannot inspect properly the plumbing systems or the hot water heater. Um, so what you're going to want to do most likely is to go ahead and have that home, what's called de-winterized, before the inspection, because that will allow you to have the complete inspection where you can actually test all of the plumbing fixtures as well. Yeah. Now, if the home has been winterized for an extended period of time, um, you definitely want to be cautious as that home is dewinterized yes. uh, because if it's been years since water has been through the plumbing and things and there's a leak, you just want to make sure that um, we have the ability to turn things off very quickly so we don't create more damage there. Yes. Um, but obviously you want to speak with uh, reputable contractors about that, people who know what they're doing in that arena. <laughs> Um, but these are just some things to think about as you're home shopping, especially if you're looking at homes that are vacant or have been vac vacant for some time. Yes. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks.